Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a few neat little commands in the command line that use the command curl. Now these all do little things. They're nothing spectacular, but they're all kind of neat. So I just thought I'd show them to you. I will link in the video description a GitHub repository that lists a whole bunch of really cool little programs that you can run using curl and other little things like that. Because uh, I'm not going to show them all to you, but I'm just going to show you a few. So the first one I want to show you is something that will shorten URLs for you. So you could probably bind this to a key command or put it in Rofi or something. But this one's just really simple. So if we go here, Control Shift V, and this at the end right here we have to put the link that we want to put in. So I'll go get a link, delete this, and Control V. And then it will give me a link. And I believe in order to do this, I'd have to go through and copy everything. I'm not sure if that percentage sign is supposed to be there or not. I'm testing that right now. All right, yeah, you'd have to copy everything except for the percentage sign. I'm not sure why that's there. Probably some kind of bug. Um, but anyways, it just gives you a, a short URL for, sh or, a, you know, sharing it on social media or something really easy there's also one for tiny url if that's something that you'd rather use uh there's not one for bitly which is weird but you, you probably could create one if you really wanted to okay so this one here will get you the latest url and title of a particular youtube channel so um i'm just going to use your npr because that's the example they give and i know it works so if i just hit enter on this it'll actually tell you the title uh, the name of the channel and the YouTube URL. Again, this has the uh, a weird percentage sign at the end. I don't know why that's there. That has something to do. I'm pretty sure that's going to have something to do with curl. Just to be honest with you. Okay, so this one here is a who is lookup. So if we do this here and do this, will actually look up the who is information for Google.com. Tell you who the name servers which is interesting apparently that's public information i didn't even know that a whole bunch of information about google.com surprisingly there's quite a bit of information for for google.com can you imagine i mean this is totally off topic but can you imagine how much this registrar charges google to register google.com i bet you it's a pretty penny anyways let's clear out of this oops and look at the next one. So, let's see here. An interesting thing. If you want, let's say you had a you a web page that had a whole bunch of links on it that you wanted to extract all those links from. You could do that by using this one here. And this one here uses MSN as an example. I'm just going to go ahead and use that, but I don't know how long this will actually take. Um, actually, it didn't take very long at all. This is these are all the links that are currently on MSN.com. It was really quick. You could, you could obviously then go. I mean, this is fairly useless in the terminal itself, but you could pipe that into a text document or something so that you, you know, however you want to use it. Um, let's see here. Okay, so this one here is cool. So this one here will actually give you the weather. So I'm just gonna copy this and copy this in here, and then I'm just gonna put in a town that's near me. I'm actually going to, have to zoom out a little bit so this actually looks proper, uh, but it shows you, you know, the temperature and you know forecast for the next three days, and that which is really cool. And this is actually not the. It gave me Mason County, Illinois. I'm not anywhere near Mason County, Illinois. That's supposed to be Mason, Michigan, but whatever, it works. <laughs> Maybe if I put in Lansing. Yeah, that one gave me Lansing, Michigan. That works better. All right, anyways, that one gives you the, the the weather and stuff. We'll go back to zoom in and clear this out. That way you can uh, see what we're doing here. All right, so this next one will show you the current rates for various cryptocurrencies. Um, DistroTube just did a video on this one quite extensively. So, again, this just shows you Bitcoin, Ethereum, and all those things. For those people who have money in order to actually, you know, 
invest in things. Uh, if you're one of those people, uh, congratulations. Um, so we'll just get rid of that so I can stop being, you know, jealous. All right, this next one will show you current coronavirus stats. So this is going to be another one we're going to have to zoom out of in order to actually see. And you can just scroll up all the way and you can see then that Go USA, we're still number one in the world, and even the worst things. Go us. So we'll clear out of that and zoom back in so we can actually see again. And uh, yeah, uh, let's see here. The next one that I want to cover is, because okay, so this one here will give you various Linux commands and cheat sheets and stuff. So if we just do this one here, it's just curl cheat.sh. And again, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. Some of these things, not sure what it will do. Um, so you'll just have to, you know, experiment. But it'll actually, like, programming questions and stuff like that will show you some, some cheat sheets. Um, again, not quite sure everything it'll do, but it looks cool. So we'll clear out of that. Okay, so here is a dictionary. So if we do this and do... Linux, this will actually, uh, ish, it does actually define Linux. It's not well formatted. Uh, it probably should just clear out of this, all this stuff, you know, away, but it, an open source version of the Unix operating system. Technically, that's true. Okay, so we'll clear out of that. We'll go to the next one. Okay, so this one here will give you a random American name. Rosalie Goldman. Hello, Rosalie Goldman. Nice nice to meet you. This one here is going to give us a really corny joke. I almost guarantee it. It's a dad joke. I've just written a song about a tortilla. Well, it's more of a rap, really. Oh, okay. I told you. I did warn you that it was going to be a really cheesy joke. Because it says, I can has dad joke dot com. Fantastic. <laughs> okay. The next, so the next few are going to be in the entertainment and games category. So some of these I won't be able to show you because they're going to be copyrighted infringement things. So I'm just not going to do that. But we'll uh, do this one here. This one here is something to do called with Mayan Cat. I don't even know what that is, but I probably have to zoom out in order to see that properly. No. Again. I, I don't know what use that would be, but it's cool. I mean, someone had to have gone through and coded that. <laughs> Seems like a interesting use of time. Uh, let's see here. Next one. I don't know what this one will actually do. It says search and display GIFs in your terminal, but I don't... Okay, so it will actually tell you uh, uh, how to use it. So let's zoom back in here so we can actually see. Okay, so your search terms separated by underscore. So let's just do this. Uh, so they can move my microphone so you can actually hear me when I type this in. So go back here and do slash uh, cat. Let's just do uh, napping. I'm guessing that this, the reason why these last two didn't work is because the terminal I'm in, it doesn't support them. Let's close. Oh. Um, so it did kind of work, but uh, <laughs> it was really pixelated. So what are you going to do? All right. So th there's a few more there that will uh, go through and do interesting things like that. Um, the rest of these all look like they're pretty much SSH stuff. Uh, but like I said, I will leave a link in the video description so you can check out the rest of these. Now, you'll probably notice that something's a little bit different today. I did not have a video of my face. And that's because OBS is not treating me well for whatever reason. <laughs> Everything was out of sync. That's just the way it apparently is for the way things are going for me today. I don't know. It took me like six tries to try to do this video. I tried some with the camera, some without the camera. It's just one of those days, people. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you are if you know any other really cool curl command, 
uses, leave them in the comments below. You can also support us on Patreon at patreon.com slash the Linuxcast. And on, on that note, I would like to thank our patron, our patron, uh, Devon C. Uh, thank you for supporting us. Uh, the first episode, uh, exclusive episode of the Linuxcast is now on Patreon. If you're interested in doing that, that will actually come become public tomorrow. So uh, it's up exclusively right now for patrons. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.